Okay, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you um, just how to model your clay, so how to take a hunk of clay and form it into whatever type of food item you're trying to make, like my scoop of ice cream here. Um, and we're also gonna look at some of the tools that you have to use and what you can use those for. And then also um, hollowing out your clay so that it's not too thick, because remember we talked about if you have too thick of a piece of clay, it's never gonna dry out, and then it will end up exploding when it gets fired. So this would be too thick of a piece of clay, so we'll talk about how to hollow that out. So this is kind of what um, I'm gonna make, and you're gonna to wanna to have your plate out so that you can determine what size your food item should be. So this might be a little bit big for my plate, but I think if I kinda of had it off to the side here, I would have enough room for um, another scoop of ice cream or two if that's kinda of all I'm gonna have. If I'm gonna have a piece of pie with this, I would need to make my ice cream smaller so I would have enough room for that pie. So, I'm going to set those off to the side for now. Um, start with just a hunk of clay and you would want to have your image reference out. So that's the picture that you printed, okay? And a lot of what this project is about is modeling your clay. So taking a hunk of clay and forming it or sculpting it into the form that you're looking for, all right? so. I'm kind of gonna just round this out with my thumbs. And obviously this is gonna be different for each person depending on what type of food that you're making. Okay, and I'm not gonna uh, demonstrate every possibility, but you're just gonna kind of take what I'm showing you and figure out how to make what you're trying to make for your project. Okay, so we kind of have this general sort of lump here. Um, you can also use the wooden boards that we used for rolling out your slabs to kind of round out forms. So I call this paddling. Kind of move the clay around how you want it depending on how you paddle it. All right, and then I need kind of this area around the scoop of ice cream. So I'm going to create that just by kind of pinching some of that clay down flat. There really is no right or wrong way to make whatever it is you're making. There might be a smarter, more efficient way. But it kind of just depends on the person who's making it and, you know, what is going to work for them. So then, I kind of like this bottom part here might be a little too big. I kind of like these little notches in there. So I'm going to take uh, one of these loop tools, and there's a variety of those, and I'm going to just kind of take a notch out of the clay. I think I'm actually going to make this a little bit thinner. I'm going to tear some of that off. That kind of pinched bottom part got a little too big. That might give me kind of more of the natural uneven edge I'm looking for anyways. You're going to want to make sure that you're smoothing your items as you're making them. Okay, so I'll refer to that as cleaning it up, smoothing those things out. So first typically that happens with your thumb, and in this case I don't really need anything else, um, but you can also use a sponge and your sponge needs to be wet, okay, and then you just kind of go over the surface with your sponge. 
So I'm going to show you on this one because this one kind of already has an uneven edge on it. But I could use my loop tool and just kind of take a little notch out of that edge. And then just kind of smooth it out so it looks more natural. Okay, so now let's talk about hollowing this out. Okay, this is too thick of a piece of clay, so I'm going to take one of my loop tools. But there's two different kinds of loop tools where it has sort of this edge to it, okay, and then some of these are more like a bent piece of wire. When you're hollowing, a form out it's going to be easier to do that with one of the ones that are more sort of geometric not the wire kind okay so I'm just going to take that tool and just kind of scoop out some of the clay okay so anything that is roughly thicker than the thickness of your thumb needs to be thinned out Okay, so this is the first way that you could do that. You can hollow it from the bottom. And then I'm also going to show you how you can cut something in half, hollow out each side, and then score and slip it back together. This is going to be a little bit more um, time efficient because you don't have to score and slip it and smooth your seam back together like you do if you hollow out two sides and then put those sides back together. Now you just want to be careful when you're hollowing this that you don't uh, go too far and make your wall really thin. Okay, so now that's probably about a half an inch so this doesn't have to be perfectly smoothed out on the bottom because eventually, you know, we're not going to see this. It'll be face down on the plate. But now this is thin enough that it won't explode when it gets fired because it will be able to dry out completely. Okay. So I'm not going to score and slip this to my plate. They're going to get fired separately and then the glaze will fuse them together.